the conflict between Israel and Palestine. Some people have said this was a David and Goliath type of uh, contest. As South Africa, we are always ready to do so. We do this because, and as we are aware of some of the risks and the dangers that lie in store, uh, we are being blamed for taking the matter to the very court that they set up. We didn't take this case to a kangaroo court. We went to the very court that they themselves set up in terms of the rules that they set up, and we should not be blamed for doing so. Our success has exposed not only the atrocities that have been carried out, are being carried out by the State of Israel, it also has exposed the moral backgrounds bankruptcy of those countries who by their acts of omission or commission are allowing genocide to take place in Gaza on their watch. And we say this, we say this humbly without pointing fingers. The issue of the ICJ, the International Court of Justice, that matter and the impact that this case can have on our domestic situation. The Lekhutla came to a unanimous view that South Africa's unwavering support and solidarity with the people of Palestine is in the end consistent with the ANC-led alliance's long-standing traditions and policy positions. We take this opportunity to thank all South Africans who have come out in their tens of thousands, in fact, in their hundreds of thousands, to support the just cause of the Palestinian people. We also pay tribute and commend the legal team and those who worked very hard behind scenes to make sure that our government's case is well represented, and we have thanked our two ministers who played a key role, Minister Pando and Minister Lamola. We thank them once again together with the legal team. I have personally phoned all the lawyers who represented us, including those based in the UK, to thank them for the work that they have done. And we all agree that they really represented uh, a, presented rather a formidable case. And in many cases, they said this was a case for them in a lifetime. And that is true. As we reflect on this matter, we must be mindful that our success has exposed not only the atrocities that have been carried out, are being carried out by the State of Israel. It also has exposed the moral bankruptcy of those countries who by their acts of omission or commission are allowing genocide to take place in Gaza on their watch. And we say this, we say this humbly without pointing fingers. We are also conscious of the fact that there will be systematic fight back campaigns as well. And I say this so that we are aware of it. There can be little doubt that these forces will do all in their power to prevent South Africa from firstly concluding its case on the merits of the matter in the ICJ. Speaking to the lawyers, I found them quite ready, willing, and prepared to take this case forward to its final conclusion. The fight back may also focus on our domestic politics and our electoral outcomes in order to pursue a regime change agenda. Now, some people have said this was a David and Goliath type of uh, contest. So we must be aware that Whilst we have done what we believe was driven by our conscience and our principles, 
And whilst we also went and did the right thing and take this matter to the courts that were set up by those who were there in 1948 or so as they set up that court, uh, we are being blamed for taking the matter to the very court that they set up. We didn't take this case to a kangaroo court. We went to the very court that they themselves set up in terms of the rules that they set up, and we should not be blamed for doing so. So in the end, comrades, we need to be absolutely vigilant and resolute. And so we must end by saying the path ahead will not be an easy one. But we should never doubt the capacity of the ANC-led alliance to unite our members and supporters together and all patriots in our country in order to advance the gains not only of our freedom but the gains of the freedom of others as well in other countries. Now, following, following our lodging of the case, we are now being asked if we are willing to participate in whatever form of discussions that could end uh, this conflict. And we've said yes. As South Africa, we are always ready to do so. We do this because we are driven by a principle that our forebears taught us, that conflicts are always best resolved through dialogue, through negotiations, for a peaceful end, as our own conflict was driven by that. And so we stand on the history that we were taught by our forebears. So comrades, as we end, and as we are aware of some of the risks and the dangers that lie in store, we should also be aware of the opportunities that are also there where South Africa will again and again continue playing the role it has always played. We have Comrade Thabo Mbeki amongst us, who has, throughout his presidency, even beyond that, has continued to play the role of resolving conflicts on our continent and elsewhere in the world. So, it is precisely that following in the footsteps of Nelson Mandela, that we will say to the world, we have done what we needed to do, driven by the principles that we uphold, but we are ready, willing, and prepared to participate in any process that will lead to a peaceful resolution of the conflict between Israel and Palestine. And that we are ready to do today, get on a plane and go and play that role. So comrades, I think as we conclude our Lekhotla, let us conclude it knowing that we've had wonderful discussions, very positive discussions, very enlightening as well in a number of ways. Discussions that are going to enrich what we do as a government at all three levels at national level, provincial level, and at local level. So we rise from this Lekhotla rejuvenated, renewed, and re-energized to go and say, my shome, because we are going to Amanda, Amanda.